guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So today I have for you guys my morning skincare routine and I'm going and I'm going to insert clips of me using all of these products. And so I'm going to talk about them in the order that I use them. Okay, so first things first, the first thing I always go in with is my Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub with Moisture Rich Soy Extract. And then it says it gently removes impurities for softer, brighter, more even even toned skin. So this is also to clean, like to cleanse your face, obviously, like that's what it says. And so uh I do use this first and I go in and I make sure that I really lather this up in any place that I have under the bump skins what under the skin bumps that's where i really make sure to focus this and go in like pretty pretty hard and anywhere ooh, and since it is a daily exfoliator anywhere that i feel like rough dry patches i also make sure that i go in and just scrub 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 to make sure that my um skin is nice and smooth whether i'm applying makeup or not so the next thing I go in with is just any cleanser. Usually I use my Neutrogena cleanser, but that's the only one I'm currently using only at nighttime. But in the morning, since I've been getting so many cleansers in my subscription boxes, the one that I've been using is this Vital Vita 12 Jelly Cleanser by Tony Moly. And it just looks like this. And this came in an Ipsy bag. And it says one drop for glow skin. And as you can see in the video, you I literally put it just on the tip of my finger. And I don't feel the tip of my finger up. It's like one little squirt line on my finger. And it lathers up and gets super, super soapy. So a little bit of this goes a long way. Because, because I believe that I got this in my June Ipsy bag. And we're already in September. So yeah, this has lasted me a really long time. Because so little goes such a long way. And you'll see that in the clip as well. How sudsy it lathers up. And then whenever I'm done with all of that, I do try to, I try to make sure that I pat my face dry. Sometimes I'm in too big of a rush that I'm like, white, white, rough, <laughs> rough, pull that skin. And, but sometimes I really do just try to like pat my face. And I'm even trying to get Brian into a skincare routine. We'll see how that goes. Sometimes he'll like randomly do like the scrub or something like that, but it's never consistent. So anyways, after my cleansers, I do go in with this Clean Beauty Witch Hazel Toner. And it has, it's a clarifying facial toner with apple cider vinegar, and naturally nourishing skincare. And that's what I use for my toner. And it's not harsh. It doesn't have a bad smell or anything like that at all. It's just, um... And for a while, like as you guys know, like I was having like these terrible, terrible breakouts on my skin. I couldn't figure out what it was. And now I'm slowly adding back in all the new stuff that I added at one time. So I went back to adding this in and I figured like this isn't what's making me break out because I'm using it again. And I feel like it's actually helping my skin clear up now that we're at a safe place. And so... <laughs> Glad it's not the Witch Hazel Toner because I've actually really been wanting a Witch Hazel Toner and I found this one at TJ Maxx for $6.99, which isn't bad because it's a pretty big bottle. And so after I go in and tone, I always go in with my Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue and this one is for normal skin or normal to combo skin. I During the winter, I use the one that's for dry skin, so it's pink. You can tell this one has a blue tint to it. So in the winter, I use the one that's pink, that's for dry skin. And my skin can definitely tell like when I'm not using this, my, ex my eczema patches start showing up and my skin just feels like water. Like that's how my skin feels, like SpongeBob without water when I don't use that thing. Okay, and so the next thing that I use is this Jamaican Mango Lime Jamaican Black Castor Oils with Vitamins A, D, and E. And I like to use this one, and I really, and I use this morning and night, but I only use it on my eyelashes, my under my eyes, between my brows, and around my mouth. Because this says that it help, um that it moisturizes and softens dry skin, enhances skin radiance and luminosity, smooths the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So I figured that it might help, which which there are days where I use this or I don't or I forget to use it. That there are some days where I forget to use that castor oil, and I can really see, especially right here between my brows, because I go like this a lot. 
or like I'm just I don't know why I do that but like I'm my eyebrows are constantly like in it towards each other so I do have like a permanent wrinkle and I noticed that that's actually starting to calm down as well as my smile lines and underneath my eyes um it really does help with those fine lines so those are the areas that I like to focus it on um and then whenever my skin was like freaking out and I couldn't figure out what it was this is what I would use all over my face at nighttime and then very very lightly all over my face in the morning now speaking of slowly adding things back in to my skincare routine from all the new stuff that i had added in is this pureless pureless pure, pure, pure -less, um blue lotus daily moisturizer with spf so this has an spf of 30 and so this is my spf that i use for the day and i like this spf because it doesn't smell like spf it does for a split second and then it kind of has a floral scent and then after that like it's gone for the rest of the day i can't smell it again i'm someone who cannot stand the smell of spf on my face so i was really happy when this um when i received this in my july or my august um ipsy glam bag plus and so this is obviously a full-size product this is products or protects and moisturizes absorbs easily with no white tint preps skin for makeup so yeah this actually doesn't have a white tint at all you will see in the video it looks just like a regular moisturizer and like i said it smells like sunscreen for a very split second but yeah i actually really really like this i do recommend it and like i said since it's made with blue lotus it doesn't have that spf scent it smells more like um like more floral and then the last thing that i do with my skincare and this is morning and night and i know that this is probably really bad for you all the chemicals blah 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 but I do go in with Carmex just as my daily lip moisturizer for morning and night. I don't apply this all day throughout the day. It's literally only morning and night after I've done all my skincare routine. And so that is it for today's video, guys. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what I use on my skin, what's helping me, what's working for me right now. Um, also, I didn't change my shirt from recording this makeup look, but... Can you blame me? But anyways, you guys, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So if you ever wondered what I do to prep my face for makeup or if I'm not wearing makeup, these are all the exact products that I use. And if I, I do record early in the morning, so if I am going to be putting on makeup, I try to let all these products soak into the skin for at least 30 minutes. And then I go in and apply my makeup. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you choose to try to go, like, try to find any of these products, if you've tried them out, if you've used them before. Let me know what your favorite product is in your skincare routine. So if you like this video, go ahead and please give me a thumbs up. And if you liked, I don't know what you saw in this today's video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. Bye. Mwah.